What's up everybody and welcome back to the Emacs YouTube channel and today I'm super excited because we have another product release and this time it's not a BNF it is actually a new RTF kit so let's hop right into the video and show you what you get in the new Tiny Hawk 3 RTF kit. All right, before I open up the package, I just wanna make a brief note about the new case we got here. It's a little bit smaller than our old RTF kits, and it comes in this awesome blue color that I actually really enjoy. It has everything in there ready to go with a little handle, and you could just take it to the field and fly. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. And once you open this, you'll notice that you get everything here. You get the goggles, you get the controller, you get our new Tiny Hawk 3 drone, you get a charger, battery, some antennas, a mount, a little bit of everything. So let's go through each one of these in here and just show you a little bit about it and what's new. So let's first start with our new Transporter 2 goggles. What's really cool about the Transporter 2 goggles, it's just a little bit smaller of a form factor that you can throw in your book bag or inside this case. And it has different like levels of adjustment. So if you're kind of blind like I am, you're gonna wanna go all the way to the third setting here on the goggles. And you can adjust this to your liking. So you can see here it's fully extended. And if you have better eyes, you can put it into the second one. And that is pretty awesome that we have some compactable goggles that you can just put in your book bag, fold them up a little bit, put them in your book bag or in the new RTF case and take them with you. Now the cool thing about the Transporter 2 goggles is once you start developing your skills and you move farther into the hobby, you, you might not wanna have box goggles anymore. So these are gonna be kind of thrown to the side when you upgrade to a better form of goggle. But with the new Transporter 2, you could just take this screen off, take the magnifying goggle part throw that to the side, put in your spare tools or whatever. And what I like to do is put this in my book bag. That way I can take it along to races, pull it out. I can watch races with my friends, show some spectators what's going on. But it's a nice little screen that I can keep inside my book bag. And with this screen as well, Something else that is new that did not come on our old goggles before is a DVR slot. So this actually has DVR so you can put an SD card inside this screen and record your flights. That way you can look back at them, examine your lines, or maybe post them to Facebook, show your friends what you've been doing with your new Tiny Hawk 3 kit. Other than that, one last thing I would like to talk about on the display here is if you look at the bottom, it has a little tripod mount. And what that is for is if you're sight impaired, kind of like me, have glasses and some goggles don't really work, you can actually attach this to the, to the new controller. So it has an adapter right here. It's like your standard GoPro adapter. You screw that into the screen and you can slide it onto the back of your controller. Now, speaking of controller or transmitter, we're gonna move on to that. And as you can see, we redesigned our controller as well. We heard your guys' feedback. So we made this new design here of the E8 transmitter, so an eight channel transmitter, and it runs on the D8, D16 protocol. It's got the full size gimbals. It's good for people that either thumb or if you pinch, I'm a pincher, so it actually feels pretty good here. You got the four switches, USB charge on the bottom. It runs on the standard 18650 battery, just like our old transmitter, which is nice you can get spares and swap them out and then like i was telling you up here on the top is where you're going to slide in that mount so when you go ahead it also has this second portion here that slides into the back and actually locks into place there so when you put your screen up top you can just screw it in there and you're ready to rock and roll a nice little setup. The screen also comes with these two standard dipole antennas, so you don't need to buy antennas either. And that's pretty much it for the new goggles here, the new E8 transmitter. Now let's move on to the Tiny Hawk 3 that comes into the kit. And the Tiny Hawk 3 is pretty awesome. We took all the positive things about the previous Tiny Hawk generations and put it in here and improved on all the negative. So you can see it's redesigned. It's more of a true X now rather than a stretch X that the last Tiny Hawk models 
uh, were designed around and you could tell that the durability on this one is way up that was one of the main focuses on here was to make sure that durability was at the absolute top so that way when you're bouncing into walls or you're, you have a tumble that you're not picking up a drone that is broken now next thing moving on to this canopy we redesigned the canopy on the tiny hawk because it was kind of a pain in the butt to replace motors and such on the previous models so this one here you take the four bolts out of the top of the canopy take it off and you can unplug the motor plug a new motor in when you need to replace it along with having the redesign of the canopy once you open up the canopy you can look down in there there's a newer all-in-one board and that all-in-one board is 1s or 2s capable but we do only send the kit with a 1s battery only so if you want to fly 2s you're gonna to have to buy your own battery uh, and try that out but personally I recommend just flying this little sucker on 1s it's super quick it's super agile you can get all the performance out of it on 1s that you want and you, there's less risk of damage in it when you're flying it on 1s compared to the more power of the 2s now another thing I want to mention that we have on this model is your run cam nano 4 so flying this in analog almost looks HD the picture of the run cam is so nice uh, I get the same picture quality I do on my 5 inch in this little micro so I couldn't be happier with that one last thing I do want to point out is that we also redesigned the connector here it has a cap on it and as well as it has you can see a little plastic ring around it so that prevents from plugging these in backwards because if you're not careful enough and you don't look at these 2.0 connectors, you can plug them in backwards and then you're gonna damage your drone and be really upset. Uh, so we definitely made sure that next to impossible, unless you're really forcing it in, you're not gonna be able to accidentally plug this in backwards. Now moving on from the drone, we're gonna go to the accessories that also come in your kit. So we have a new redesigned 1S 2S charger and that allows you to charge two 1S batteries or two 2S batteries. Make sure if you're charging 2S batteries on here, you use the balance lead and not the 1S 2.0 connector up here. Uh, it does say 1S and 2S on here so you know the difference. And then it also has a switch you can change from high volt to lipo on both of those. Our batteries come HV, so you're gonna to wanna to leave that on the HV setting so you get a little bit longer flight time and a little bit more power. So that's it on the charger. And then if you look in here, you get a extra set of propellers and then you get obviously our manual QR code that comes in every other kit so if you need any instructions support manual you can scan this with your phone or you can go to the website that's on the back and then you get the stickers then you get the hardware pack that all of our kits come with a USB cable so you can charge and plug in your drone into the computer and then you also which I already went over you get the adapters on your transmitter here you get the one that goes inside your transmitter, you get the one that goes on your screen, and then you get the screw and the actual nut. And then looking through the kit, I think that's pretty much it, except this last card in here that is a disclaimer. So go ahead and please read this and then precautions on the back. So that way, if you don't go to the manual or anything, you can go ahead and just read this real quick and it will give you proper ways to do things and uh, stuff that you should not do while you're flying and things of that nature. Well guys, that was it on the Tiny Hawk 3 RTF unboxing video. Hopefully you guys like the new product. If you guys want to pick up one yourself, make sure to check out the description below. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, make sure to put them in the comments below. That way I can read them and go over them. But until the next one, guys, happy flying.